Well, my name is Josh Barron. I'm the Senior Academic Technology Officer at Marist College, which is located in Poughkeepsie, New York. I've also been heavily involved in the Sakai community and the Teaching and Learning Group and on the board for many years. A lot of our efforts over the last decade and a half have been focused on moving our classrooms online, basically through learning management system technology, Sakai. Um, but we hadn't really been very focused on the informal collaboration and uh, supporting all of that in our online programs. And so as we began to explore technologies to allow us to do that, we began to pilot the open academic environment uh, system. And we really saw that it had this very open, flexible capability supporting a lot of the kind of unstructured, you know, flexible kind of informal collaboration that happens in those academic common spaces. And so as we, we started to, 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 to realize that, we came up with this model that internally we call the Academic Community Cloud. And the idea was to really deploy both of these technologies, the Learning Management System, Sakai, support our, our online courses, but then to deploy the open academic environment to support this informal collaboration. Um, and so we partnered with our fashion uh, faculty members and students, um, and they were actually excited enough about this to actually create a course uh, so that their students could get heavily involved in helping to launch this academic community cloud for fashion uh, folks, which they ended up branding the, the fold, the fashion online learning domain. And they give you an example of the types of things that were going on in OAE. They uh, were linking up with other students around the world, Paris, Hong Kong, London, New York City. Folks were taking photographs as they're you know, observing these trends uh, on the street, sharing them, and then starting to look for the trends that were uh, cutting across the world, really. So it was really intriguing to see a student in Paris post something and say, I'm noticing orange is a major color and here's some shoes and a hat and stuff, you know, documenting that. And then a student in Hong Kong, two days later, popping in and saying, oh, I've noticed that same trend and here's a picture of the same kind of orange shoes I'm seeing in, in Hong Kong. Now this is done also on the professional level, but quite honestly, it's, you know, tens of thousands of dollars to buy these trend reports and here are students kind of generating this really, really uh, exciting content for the fashion uh, world kind of on their own using this collaborative technology. There were certainly challenges, some of quite you know, substantial challenges we encountered in the project. But I think, in, in actually just reflecting here at the conference after the presentations, it's those real world challenges, it's the frustrations, it's the things that don't work that first feel like failures to people. But in reflecting on it, that's where this powerful learning comes from, where they're like, oh, okay, now I understand what the real world is like in terms of, yeah, there's a failure, you gotta pick yourself back up, you gotta start again. And, and be successful. What really excited me was that this was a real collaboration between the fashion faculty, the director there, Radley Kramer, um, Professor Halverson, and then the students, and then my office, Academic Technology. Um, but I think in many cases, when someone speaks of a collaboration like that, it, it's, it's not really on equal levels and that the students are still students. But, but that wasn't the case here. The students were really told on day one of, of the class they were taking that your equal collaborator is with us and we're going to expect you to work like professionals and, and meet deadlines and, and contribute to this project just as much as staff in my office might be or the faculty members were. And although, I'll be honest, I think at first that it uh, worried the students. They, this was very a very new way of interacting with faculty and, and professionals. Uh, by the end of the course, and I think um, the comments they've made in their presentations here reflect this, uh, it was a real world learning experience that taught them things that really don't come for a traditional lecture-based kind of course. Um, and so, yes, I, I played a role in helping coordinate things and bring some resources to the project um, and so forth. Uh, but really what excited me most was that this was really the students running this, this project. And, and I thought that was one of the most exciting things for me to be part of was, was to work with them in, in that kind of capacity.